Captain's Log, start at 192.168.1.12. I've been stranded on this barren and hostile planet with my science officer, Zedtech. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? I'm good, Captain. How are you today? I'm doing very well, but I have noticed that we, whilst we do have iron and coal and somewhere we've got some copper, uh, it's up the top there, uh, production underway, we are missing one of the vital resources, at least one of the vital resources we need for expansion. We are missing stone. Uh, we, we need to get that, that, that in. Oh look, we, we really are running out of... Well, we're not running out of copper. The copper production is really low, but this is actually all right because I think we're not using too much of it right now. I'm looking at the, the end of the co copper conveyor and there is definitely a backlog of some description. I say well, that. I'm... I say that. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I've just noticed that there is actually a place where <laughs> copper is not being passed down as it needs to be Ooh, yeah no i think i think we've got a copper shortage uh we we could probably do that up but we also need to try and find stone as we say we want to expand we want to get some rails we want to get some walls we want to make this base safe and secure and that that's going to require stone that is definitely going to require stone uh i'm going to look at my map yes we found a uh a a what what is this a seven seven million, million. unit I've, I've just noticed that what is this what? <laughs> uh, we've got a, a rail stop with a name, sorry, on the map. Oh yeah, we can change that. No, it, it, just, it just threw me off. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's literally it. it. It derailed me. I am a. Uh, it, you would have thought you would have thought my many years worth of captain's training would have prepared me for that. I, I, I should be able to to respond to to any any unexplained circumstance, but. Given our, our very unexplained circumstance on this planet, it, it totally threw me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so, yeah, we can use rails, I guess, to get to the 7 million stone. And yeah, yeah. So I think the plan is that we need to put down a mining rig on the stone and then have some sort of loading platform for the trains then to come over here somewhere and deliver it to an offloading platform. So I suppose we best get on with that. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, clear the way for the trains, I guess. Rails of progress. <laughs> Rails of progress. Okay, so we're going this way. There's got to be a quick way of deforesting. I'm fairly sure our ancestors of old would not be out here with simple hand tools. <laughs> yeah, I agree. They would probably use grenades. <laughs> yeah, grenades. Oh, like, is there a chainsaw? Is it? Is there no. like power power tools? I don't. Uh, well, uh, do you consider? The robots power tools yes yes i do well then yes we do Ooh, oh my that is not what i wanted <laughs> press shift that was the problem <laughs> oh uh we do need more rails but in order to make rails we need more stone, stone. classic classic uh, we do have the small mining station at the bottom oh yeah i forgot all about that i forgot let's let's go and have a look and show Show the good 3D viewers what we are, what we're doing here. 3D. I presume they're three-dimensional beings. I, like it would be quite odd That's... if they were they were flatlanders, oh. or four-dimensional beings. That would be even odder if odder is a word. Odder. Odder. Isn't that an animal? <laughs> yeah, that's a type of animal. The the, the world famous intergalactic otter. Uh, <laughs> they they like to play with black holes as a uh, a form of of exercise for their arms. We do. We are running here out of stone as well. Oh look at this! Yeah, this miner is done. Uh, oh, actually no, that still had a little bit more. It was just full. Uh, how do we? Yeah. It, it's literally there were only like hundreds each as opposed yes. to the thousands we need. Okay, let's go. Ooh, I don't know. We well, we've got some stone being made. That's the important bit. Oh, uh, I have some rails. Eighty rails to. Eighty. Exact. Is that going to get us out there? I'm not sure what the distance covered is by these rails. Uh, one is this. Oh. I mean that's yeah. a that, that's a little bit bigger than one could be. That's that that's maybe a, a two in my mind, but that's still not not that far. Three in the way. Let's just get the uh, get the old axe swinging. You can, can you remember when we were talking about um, AI being the governing body and sending emails to everyone? Uh, to, uh, to ask or, them their opinion. Yeah. Yes. Well, I've been pointed uh, out. We don't uh, have any gates. Oh. <laughs> major problem in online voting is that you do still need to trust the source 
of the code. Indeed, yes. Yes, you do. You, you have to... You have to put your faith in the system. But at the same time, I feel this is a problem inherent also with paper ballots. Um, you yes, have but to in trust... Paper... Go on. But in the, in the paper ballot situation, uh, the parties that are in the race to win yep. are all there while it's being counted. Yeah, are all there watching. So surely what we need then is an AI from each party overwatching the situation. But then the the whole the whole point there with the AI is to is to do away with concepts of parties and put it down to personal people. And I'm almost certain that there will be a small subgroup of the 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 voters who will know one that this is a problem to be looked at and two how to write a good enough ai to check proceedings because when we get to this glorious future of being able to create consciousness uh, on a hard drive if you will or whatever the equivalent is uh, um we we also get to confront the idea of different degrees of consciousness like how how aware do you want it to be? Do you do you want it just to be reactive, or do you want it to be able to think about stuff? Um, and I think the ones that are like fully conscious, if you will, uh, will have almost their own police service of the of the not so conscious ones, the ones that are more reactive. So those reactive ones will be programmed with laws, if you will, you know, and um, and they will watch over the. The more conscious ones, and then if a flag does get thrown up, uh, a human can can get brought into the mix because humans are better at dealing with ethics. We, we think maybe you never know. At some point, it could be that we have programmed something like you know Trustbot Five Thousand, where every human knows that it is trustworthy from like basic programming principles or something like that. In the same way, we know that if we drop an app. Oh, did not mean to do oh. that. If we drop an apple, then we'll like it'll fall to the floor. Maybe by the same sort of laws of the universe, we'll, we'll discover something that like breeds trust. Now that that is total sci-fi voodoo nonsense. There, um, whether it's actually going to happen or not, we don't know. But you know, that's that's the glorious future. That is the glorious. We we are here. We have made our way to the stone field, and man, what a stone field it is! How are we going to do the loading bay? I think that's the first thing we need to do is figure out. Are the recipes expensive? Do we need to go back to base and make a? Uh, definitely, we still need to make the trains and the train parts. So we need two locomotives. Two locomotives. Two locomotives. Yes. A bunch of cargo uh, carriages. We need power there as well. And we need power up there. Let's have a look. How far away is it? Do we want to run? I mean, it looks like it's uh, pylonable. If we take the the longest range yeah, power definitely. cables, well, we can probably do it like that. C centralized power. It's definitely the way of having least impact on the planet. Is that a thing? Is that our aim? I <laughs> don't know. But I need to. I'm just gonna place this and make it. I I'm not gonna make an automated system yet. Just you, put no. this. Uh, give me Where pipes. Are you? You're around somewhere. I'm right here next to you, Captain. Aha, there you are. <laughs> disappeared amongst all the moving dots. So we're just making <laughs> some pipes, okay. Uh, if you can put pipes in, that'd be awesome. We need 20 engines for each uh, train. So 200 pipes? If you hover over the train, you'll see the area where you can place... Place uh, inserters or exerters? What are they when you take them out? <laughs> I am exerting. I will do it like this. Yeah, I was going to say, we might not need chests, but I've got a feeling we're going to need a fancy sorting system. That is pretty fancy. I like that. I think that's connected now. And do it. Oh, yeah. Bam. Now, where do we need the stone to go? Where? Well, we need the stone to go to the train production facility that we are yet to build. Yet to build, yay! <laughs> <laughs> that that is definitely one of the markers that we need to do, though. I'm not I'm not sure where we would put it. I mean, we we could either go along the bus and put it down the very end, or we could diverge okay. in the other direction and make a train production facility here. Though that that one doesn't sit too well with me, but also does kind of sound good. 
So I'm, I'm conflicted about that particular plan. <laughs> it's up to you, Captain, to decide. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. We'll, we will. We will pull some of the resources, the steel and the iron, off over this way. Do we need circuits or anything? That is actually the important bit there. Train stop. Yes, we do. Yes. Okay, all right, yeah. And for the train. Okay, because of that, we're going to have to go down to the end of the bus then. If it wasn't okay. if it wasn't for the fact that we needed circuits. Oh, I remember this bus. Oh, this? There's this our... <laughs> hang on, press alt. There we go. Uh, this was our uh, conveyor production. I like this. I like this a lot. Wait, what's this missing? Oh, gears. We have no iron production. <laughs> Oh yeah, we had noticed that earlier that the iron was uh, was running a little low. Let's go and have a look and see what the holdup is. Is it the raw iron? Is it production? It... I think it's raw iron. Yeah. How how can we be running out of raw iron? We do have a stationary miner, two stationary miners, but there's still a lot being put out. Using more than we. You're producing, I guess. Obviously, obviously. Okay, well, we're going to have to try and cover the last of this patch and then try and figure out where a new iron patch will be. Which uh, is not the end of the world. Sounds like good fun. Expansion. It's the key, it's the secret. Colonizing. Biggity bam, power all round. Okay, something's going to have to change somewhere because all of that is feeding onto this belt, but this bottom one down here is still being left empty. Oh yeah, we can replace all of these furnaces with. Uh... Have we still not upgraded them all? Do I have any more? No. I don't have any more on me. Uh, <laughs> that's we that's pretty funny. Put down a total of two <laughs> lines of better furnaces, I guess. Oh yeah, uh, engines, engines, engines. Okay, yeah. Back back to making the train stuff. Now that we have hopefully sorted out the iron production, we still haven't quite got a full double belt leaving, but it. It, it's better than it was. It's better than it was. We're gonna go have a look at the conveyor line to make sure that we, you know, some of the iron is getting through. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm being a little bit scared actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh wow. By the time we get, oh hey, I got an achievement. By the time we get all the way down here, we're getting one plate per second coming through, maybe. Oh, maybe stone is not what we need. <laughs> maybe it's actually iron. That said, I cannot see a big iron patch on my... There's a 2.8 top right, but that is surrounded by biters. Oh, uh, there's one below... Uh, it's only a million, though, below the stone patch. Looks like we're actually going to have to start going pretty far out before we can find some real iron. After that little bit of tweaking of the iron, I can definitely confirm that we are getting at least three times the amount of iron at the conveyor belts. <laughs> it's still not much. It's still not much, but we are definitely on the way. And we, we definitely need to get trains and stuff sorted before the iron runs out. This this is uh, going to be a must because we only yes. have one iron patch close by. <laughs> we have a solution. That, mm, where is the closest iron patch? It's right underneath stone. Right underneath the stone, which I think is quite a good good thing like maybe maybe we can divert our attention away from stone for a moment as we have a little stone pile down south that's doing stuff i, I say we could probably like get that iron instead there is one problem i i see three problems but go on <laughs> oh <laughs> the, the bite yeah 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 i see i see three separate problems though they don't look to be too scary i reckon with a bunch of turrets and two of us we could probably go and take them on good idea ah oh, what are we short of for the tank uh, literally uh, lasers, just lasers and military two yeah but then we'd also need the uh, military science military science if i remember correctly is grenades upgraded ammo and turrets i see nothing yeah. wrong with making these things and these three things and having them on hand i think that would probably be a good idea and the grenades are just coal and iron plates yeah, just okay, coal was... and iron yeah that, 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 it looks pretty pretty easy to make actually Yes, it does. Okay. So. Oh, all right. Halfway through this episode, we have discovered what we're actually doing. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking, uh, because the splitters do have filters on it, uh, yep. we can use the same station on this end for receiving stone and iron. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that is a plan. Yeah, we could then filter this off into two. Like, yes. Science officer, yes! I love it, let's do it, let's do it, that's great. Because we can even have like a signaling system sort of halfway down where the, the rail splits to the iron and the stuff. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, yeah. 
We know what we're doing. We have a plan. Let's enact it. But I was thinking just to do one thing before that. Oh dear. Is Captain, if you follow me and grab some coal. Ooh, this looks good. Put a bit of coal in there. Bam. Weapons control, driver or passenger. There's a passenger system. Oh. Jump in. Which one are you getting in? Uh, well, uh, if there's a passenger, then I can drive with you. Oh, do you have gun control? I think I do, but I need to put ammunition in. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why I'm in charge. <laughs> Let's try and not crash into our power systems. Oh, we put this That's wall a wall. Here. Who put this wall That's here? That's a tree. Is there a way out? <laughs> At the, the bottom, where the train line is. <laughs> We're going to go backwards for a little bit. This uh, is... Can we make some ammunition before we go? <laughs> Do you not have it? Okay, let's go make some ammo. And put it in the car so we can use the gun turret. Are we making ammo anywhere? No, I don't think so. We will when we get... Oh. Get better ammo. <laughs> I'm, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, that's a good item. Oh, you oh. did! <laughs> Why did I let you... I mean, you're a captain! <laughs> You, I'm a captain, not a pilot. I tell people how to drive, not actually drive. But, but aren't you supposed to know in emergencies how to drive? Uh, in an emergency, I wouldn't blow up the car. <laughs> you would? Okay. <laughs> well, then, okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's always nice knowing that you're in safe hands, right? Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Did you, did you get some uh, ammo? Yes. Oh man! Oh yeah, we steer, we steered <laughs> out. <laughs> but nature does contain trees that are an <laughs> obstacle to us. They, they are. I'm more worried about the rocks, actually. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're we're getting close to those things over there. Uh, you have get closer and. I was about to say you you have gun control, yes. Get close. Oh. Get closer so we can destroy it. Oh, it's a little bit unresponsive on the start stop. Three. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> let's get closer. Oh, did we run out of ammunition? Brilliant. I don't have any ammo. <laughs> okay, let's let's go make a machine for making ammo. I think this probably yes. is a good idea. <laughs> okay, this was an adventure. That that um, was definitely an adventure. Okay. We learned that we got more damage by crashing into trees and rocks than biters. That that uh, is very useful information. To be fair, we need that? to uh, swerve through those. Oh, uh. <clears throat> what a beautiful place to park cars! I think we'll just well, stop here. <laughs> well, this is a first car crash, at least. This is this is our first car crash of the planet. Woo! <laughs> I'm sure a fine will be landing in my in my inbox pretty shortly. Let's exchange the insurance. Yeah. <laughs> so the iron seems to be doing better now. Uh, it seems to. Yes. Seems to. Right, where are we going to set up some mini ammo production? At the end? At the end. The thing Ooh, I'm thinking about place. is at some point we're going to have to try and feed military science out of the... Oh yeah, this works. This works perfectly. I would just do it here. Because we're literally never going to need any more of these. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Chests? Yeah, I, I'm going to put a limit, but I'm going to be the whole top line, because I bet okay. I'm going to eat through it all. <laughs> so I, I'm kind of feeling like we want to put the, the armor-piercing bullets, the grenades, and the turrets kind of up in this section here, because then we can feed the military science through this way. So we can do no military two. Yep, so and now that we've done the lasers, we'll do the military two, uh, which also sets us up for military science. Uh, and as I was saying, I think that as we're making bullets down here, we could probably fit all the military science stuff in this gap here, uh, because we just need armor-piercing bullets, grenades, yes. and gun turrets and i think we should be building some gun turrets anyway and then all those combine to military science and they can either go in here yeah and then, okay, then it gives it somewhere nice to put in that was the military oh, wow are we going to go straight up to armor piercing bullets before we go and take on those biters apparently all right that sounds like a great idea i will think about how to move these bullets 
upwards. Yeah, we're making splitters, we're making belts, we're, we're making everything. The only thing I don't think we are making, actually, is things like pipes. Yes. Oh, did the military come in, did it? Yeah, it's finished. Absolutely missed that one. Brilliant. Oh, I've, no, that's why we're working on this. <laughs> so, sometimes I feel like the low oxygen on this planet, it gets to me. <laughs> it's obviously what's going wrong. I'm not an incompetent captain. It's just the oxygen levels. Interesting. But make sure you put that in your report back to head off. Uh, well, Federation HQ. Must be the Federation we're part of, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, we're making armor piercing, right? <laughs> Armor piercing bullets, indeed. This is what we're on. Okay, now it's now it's waiting for the machine, not surgery. Yeah, brilliant. So we've got enough resources being put in that we're waiting for the craft time. That is good. Yes. Now we need a way of collecting these before they all get used, because we are definitely going to want some. Yes. Um... Oh, and that's even powered there. Beautiful. Okay, so we need to kill a few seconds to let this output oh, some, copper some ammo. Is not in a, oh. It's not being delivered fast enough. So it's always like this. Just upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Oh, Captain, look here. I am on my way. It's a long way, but I'm going to run along the belts for added speed. Hello. Hi. Ah, I, I thought we had done bullets. <laughs> I thought we had done bullets. Well, maybe we should deconstruct this bit then. Yeah. Maybe. Just. I, I got 600 firearm magazines out of that. Surprised how two two assembly machines making the terrible bullets is fast enough to keep up with what is this? Three, six, nine separate machines making normal bullets. Ah, it's the copper problem, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh the copper problem. <laughs> we simply don't have enough smelters. We yeah, we actually just do not have enough smelters. I do have a lot of these. Coal is still not a problem. I can't believe how well the coal is lasting us. It's slowly gonna run out. Slowly, but then if you look on the map, we've got a million coal up north, li literally oh, yeah. just the yeah. other side, and then there's uh, 300,000 coal at the end of the uh, the bus. So that's unbelievably useful. I do want to have this game show me how much material is on the belt at the yeah, given moment. Yeah, how, mu how much is just flowing through the system. Because we got a lot of coal just just on belts. Yeah. Captain, do you want to go and um, blow up some natives? Native <laughs> blow up. Okay. <laughs> uh, did did you grab ammo? Yep. Because I did not. I've only got normal ammo <laughs> on me. <laughs> it will do me, but All right, I need to get down onto the tank tracks. Oh. I, I'm not. Tracks? I'm not. Yeah, tank tracks. Yeah, you heard me. Train tracks. I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to like provide excuses, but the steering does seem a little <laughs> laggy. <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm guessing it's my my connection suit lag. Maybe. All right, here we go. Um, they rebuilt. They have. How close do we have to get before they? Alright, that was pretty good. Armor piercing for the win. Yay. And I managed to keep us just far enough away. Oh look, someone's damaged that rock up to the north there. I wonder what that was. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're doing alright. Barely even have to back up. This is good. This is good. Powerful. Powerful. A little bit worried about things that are spawning, but... Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay, moving on. Moving yeah. on. The one to the, yeah, to our side right now. One to the east. Let's uh, go up and round these trees. Oh, I say that. Let's creep at them slowly from here. Okay, just a just a couple. That's not too bad. A couple of houses. That I mean, are they houses? Is this what we're supposed to think they are? Are these actually brood mothers? Because all all the biters seem to come out of these pulsating horrible weirdnesses. Uh, mm. Is that actually the like the queen of the? Uh, oh look, there's a uh, thing there. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't think they're houses. I think they're living, living brood mothers. Mm. Kind of has to be. <clears throat> <laughs> kind of has to be. Okay, so there's one down south. That I'm having trouble getting because 
getting to because of the trees. Oh, this is gonna go bad. Those are all rocks. Those are all <laughs> rocks. We only went through half of the ammo we brought, and I have another 200 am ammunition on me. That's a rock. Mm. That's camouflaged, I would give that, it. That is a camouflaged rock. It's amazing how evolution works, giving enough time. <laughs> What are the nature's predator <laughs> of a rock? Well, uh, well that is obviously the uh, the stonemason. Oh. Of course. The only natural predator of rocks. Oh, here we go. Let's roll that. That armor a piercing spitter. is amazing. Yeah. It's getting nice and close. Kill, kill, kill. Oh. Oh, I can't back up. We're gonna die. Right, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't back up there. I was tapping W. Yeah. There we go. Well, we took took out the important things. <laughs> and lost the car. <laughs> it's all right. I hear we have a spare. <laughs> I noticed that you've taken damage. Here, do you want some fish? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I can could, I could feed you fish. Oh, my. There we go. <laughs> I, I force-fed you five fish there. That's <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> it's a little disturbing. So, I th yeah, I was going to say, I feel like we want to have a train station here, right? We need to have a loading station and then a bunch of miners. Did I bring any miners with me? No. Hello. Are we building a roundabout? Uh, well, yes. Let's see. Can I make some sig We haven't reached signal lights? No, I've got train stop, but no signal lights. We have learnt a new thing. Are they in here? Oh, that, there it is. Ra rail signals. They are there. Research. Yeah. Bam. Let's get our new car, I guess. <laughs> Let, yeah, let's let's take the walk of shame. <laughs> back. Uh, shall we take the train to the iron? Can we take the train to the iron? We could, but let's just make a train stop first. Make a train stop first. Okay, yeah. So we don't forget to place it. <laughs> that is a good plan. Is there somewhere we can actually place a machine to place the... No, no, we'll, we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. Yeah, I made the train stop. Do you have control? You have control. Yeah. Woo! First train ride! Woo -woo. <laughs> I, I like trains. I'm... Wiggly, 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 wiggly. And this is a nice line. I like it. It's good. It's good. All right, so here we are. Bam. We, we are at a place. You know what I forgot to do was pile on our way across. Um, I've actually only got five. <laughs> okay, I have six. I'm gonna give them to you so you can. Wonderful. We need to power the train stop. Uh, no. No. Okay. Cool. And then I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna start the pylons where this box was. Okay. Bam. Power. <laughs> it's quite a long, long walk. But ah, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna get the car. That that would be. Why waste another perfectly good vehicle? <laughs> Maybe we'll need a car production facility as well. <laughs> oh, that that is great colouring. That is great co Can I jump between the trails? Okay, so I assume these boxes are here for storage when the train's not here. Yes. Okay, good. All right. I, I know what's going on. This is good. <laughs> Captain, could you... Uh, you have the honours to name the train station. Oh, name the train station. So we're, we're at an iron part. What do we know about iron? Uh, Chuck Norris is made of iron. So this is the Chuck Norris International Train Station. Uh, that's, that's, oh, this is a, international? Yeah, Chuck Norris International. No, no, no. We'll call it Terminal. It's at the end, right? Terminal. It's the Chuck Norris Terminal. Awesome. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Welcome to Chuck Norris, people. But I think with that science officer, the full production of our iron, which was going to be stone, but seems we've uh, made iron. <laughs> <laughs> the opening of Chuck Norris Terminal uh, will work on a, uh, a uh, an offloading port. What's the, there's, a, there's a better word for that. A goods in, a, a, a cargo terminal, when we get back next time. But until then, Captain's Log. Signing off. <laughs>